If you get blisters on the heels of your feet or you can feel your feet moving around inside your shoe, there's actually a simple solution for that. This is how you execute the lace lock or the heel lock. Now, it actually doesn't start by crossing the laces. It actually starts by going to the outside of our shoe to these extra holes that we often ignore. And we're gonna use these holes to create loops on each side of our shoe. By inserting the lace in backwards, we create a small loop like that. We do that on both the inside and the outside, and we use these loops to execute the lock. Now, once we have loops on both sides here, we cross our laces and insert them into the loop on the other side, like this. Then, we cinch our laces down. Now, we're gonna wanna pull down first and not up, because if we pull up, you'll notice we leave the loop hanging out here. We don't want that. We wanna pull down toward the shoe. It actually creates the lock, a nice, firm, tight lock. And you'll see there's no space left here in the loop. It's tied up against the shoe. Then, we can simply lace our shoe like we normally would, and we've successfully completed the lace lock or the heel lock. Notice it's extremely tight on my foot. It's not gonna slip, it's not gonna move around. It also keeps your toes from jamming into the front of your shoe. It keeps your, your foot tightly seated inside your shoe and just provides for a more comfortable wearing experience no matter what you're doing. So thank you so much for watching and make sure you tune in next time for another great tip from Illumicene.